This is Mix All and Casting Craft. I use both of these to color resin white when I'm doing a beach resin pour. I don't use them together. I use them for different projects. I don't necessarily have a favorite between the two, but I thought it would be interesting to do this side by side to see whether there's a difference in the result. I'm using Moss Epoxy resin here, and when I'm mixing both the Mixol or the Casting Craft with my resin, I make sure that the white pigment does not exceed 10% of the amount of the resin. If you use too much of those pigments, your resin will not cure properly. And I find that really only a few drops is actually what's needed for coloring the resin. Once I've mixed everything together and I lift my mixing stick up out of the resin, if I can't see the color of the stick through it, you've got enough pigment in there. Once I have my resin poured and my white line of white resin poured, I use a heat tool to blow those waves out and then I let them cure completely. I typically will wait about 24 hours between each layer of resin. You can do it a little bit less depending on the type of resin that you choose to use. And depending on the type of resin that you choose to use, you may have different results. That's why I mentioned which resin I'm using here. I like to do an odd number of layers. So typically I'll do three layers and have three waves when I'm doing a beach pour. The process is exactly the same for using either one of them. And in the end, once both of the pieces had cured, this is the result. So this one is, I believe, the Casting Craft, and this one is the Mixol. You get beautiful cells from both of them. I like how nice bright white it colors the resin. I really see that white color over top of the color I painted my wood base, and I'm really happy with both of them. Both of them would be a good choice for coloring your resin.